Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can easily hide or reorganize uh, fields or columns uh, from the entry form on the SharePoint list. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So here we go, I have this uh, a SharePoint custom list that happens to be a risk register that I have on the project site. And you kind of get to see the final product I already have uh, created uh, s several columns, um, completed some information. But here's a scenario for you. Uh, when uh, my users uh, click the new button, uh, they obviously fill out uh, the information, right? I want to be able to hide certain fields from them, all right? I don't want them to fill out certain fields, all right? How do I do that? I mean, if you want to hide information, hide the columns from the view, uh, that's not a problem. You just literally, uh, click on the drop down, column settings, and say hide this column. Uh, or you can also go here and uh, add a column drop down, show hide columns, and you can easily check uh, or uncheck uh, the columns. Here we go. Let's just do that. Here we go. They're gone. But I want them to also be gone from this uh, from this uh, new form uh, entry. All right. I don't want this uh, to, to last two columns to appear. How do I make it happen? So look, uh, in the past, this was uh, uh, this was possible as well. Uh, however, it was uh, um, it was not uh, very obvious. We actually had to go in uh, to gear icon, list settings. We had to go to advanced settings, uh, enable content types, uh, and then after the content types have been enabled, we had to go into the content type, uh, and then. You know, for each of the columns, essentially, uh, say whether it's um, you know it's a man it's a required, mandatory, uh, optional, or hidden. So, if for for example, I wanted to hide this column, I had to click this uh, radio button and click OK. Um, so, it this was possible in the past, obviously not uh, very intuitive, not uh, very user friendly. Uh, luckily, we now uh, have uh, this option on the front end, right on this modern experience. Let me show you how to do that. So you, you have to click this new button. Uh, probably not the most intuitive way to do it, but you have to click this new uh, button as if you are filling out a, a form, all right? And so we are going to remove this few uh, fields over here. And then you click. I uh, need to click on the edit form and you have this few options. Now, customize with Power Apps obviously allows you to utilize Power Apps uh, application to uh, customize this form, the layout, uh, uh, of the form and the look and feel. Uh, that's not what we're after. All we want to do is just uh, hide some columns. All right, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, and you are going to see pretty much the same columns. I want to hide this uh, uh, two last columns over here. Here we go. Uh, that's all. That's all. That's pretty much it. Uh, oh, and uh, we just need to click Save. And now you will notice they're gone. Look at this. They're immediately gone. Uh, so just to prove the point, if uh, you click the the user clicks the new button again. They're gone. All right, so nice and easy. And of course, if we want to show them again, uh, just go back and check them. Uh, you can also use this uh, method to move up and down to reorganize them if you want. All right, uh, uh, that's an option. Now you will notice that some of them are grayed out, and the reason is because they are required. All right, uh, so you see the little uh, red asterisk appearing to next to them. Uh, that means they're required. They obviously. Uh, cannot be hidden. It actually tells you uh, the same information right in here. All right, uh, but that's pretty much it. So let me just uh, save it again so they uh, do disappear. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's how easy it is now uh, to hide uh, the columns uh, from your uh, entry form on the SharePoint list. Uh, so hopefully you learned something new today. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my U YouTube channel as well as my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.